uh, this is your array, six elements in it. What happens if you output data zero? What will be the output? Six. Uh, type data 10. What's going to happen? Uh, no. Data 10 is uh, exception. Read, read, read. I want you to read. Array index out of bound uh -huh. and the program this is not only an exception your program stops تمام. صح? your program now stops يعني you cannot continue even this is not a professional way طيب, let me comment this يا شباب. let me show you another exception double d is equal 100 over 0 what I'm gonna get now is it gonna be exception uh huh. What are you a math exception? Another exception. What is the exception name? Arithmetic exception. What is this? Division by zero. And you all feel why division by zero should not be an easy generate an exception. Right, let me show you another one. Scanner input uh, equals new scanner. New scanner system dot in type this out enter your eight. So what I'm expecting from you is an integer now. Okay. Then I can say integer age is equal to what? Input dot next integer. Tamam. And let me output it now. I say age is equal to plus age. And I need to comment this. Now your program is going to read an integer. Enter your age 20. Age is 20. No problem. You were expecting an integer and you entered an integer. Let me run it now. Enter your age. Ziad Ali. Wow. I am entering a string in line 8 now, صح? While it was expecting what? An integer. To make a long story short, but enter. What is the error now? A new type of error. This is called what? Input. Aywa. Abdo. Input. Okay. Tamam, Yaman. And what is that? So now, what do you know about exceptions? There are many exceptions in each programming language. And the problem with the exception, the program stops and terminates. You all agree on these two statements. There are different types of exceptions, depending on what uh, problems your program generate. And uh, they always terminate. But is there a way? Uh, listen carefully. It's not about code now. About you understand the concept. Is there a way where you can uh, handle the exception and your program continues? For or do something. If you get this exception, you do something. Yes, there is. The way is try catch, uh, Abdul Azim. Uh, let me, uh, Shabab, I'll comment most of this code now and let me show you something. Okay, let me, I'll comment all this code at the, even this age. Let me now there is a way how you can handle exceptions. Try, don't worry about the syntax now. I want you to understand the concept because the syntax is going to be the same in almost all programming languages. You use what we call try catch. Asiani, what is try catch? If you have a code that might generate a problem, E is the name of the exception, can be any name, huh? Call it, huh? E is the name of the exception, tamam? But usually the convention is using what? E. <clears throat> yeah. Any code that might throw, listen to the word, word now, throw, throw, yani generate an exception, it's better to be enclosed between try catch block. Now see this code, sys out, data, 10, 
data 10 might generate an exception here. So you put it in a try catch. The code is inside the try. Inside the catch, you can generate a message to the user. This out error. I'll, I'll show you how to do this in more detail. Right. The good thing when you use this, okay, that your program continues. Let me, I'll, I'll show you a different exception. I'll show you a different exception. Business as usual. Okay, we are open. Now, if you, I showed you what happens if you don't handle the exception. Now, this code is 1 million percent is going to generate an index out of bound exception. So let me run this. Oh, you got what, ya shabab? Error. Ah, there was an exception here. So khalas, we handled it and we continue. You know why I added this message now. Does that make sense? The difference now, your program continues. If you don't use try catch, you saw what happened. Sah la la, right? You saw what happened. Okay, no data 10 here, ya sadiqi. Yeah, if, if there is no exception, you will not even come here. If there is no exception now, data zero, no exception. So it did not go inside the catch. The try uh, code was uh, uh, executed and there was no exception at all. Business as usual. If you have an error here, like this, five. And you get the message. Isn't it a good idea to know what was the exception? Isn't it a good idea? What was the exception? Let me show you. I call this exception object is general. You can ask it e dot get message. The get message will give you what was the exception, which is very good at least. Shufu. Oh, uh, look at this index out of bound, and then your program continues. Does that make sense? Your program now continues. Which one is professional now? When you write a, a software for a system and your code is always out of uh, execution because of the exceptions. Exceptions going to happen. Tamam? But now you are handling them smoothly, gracefully, and your program, what? Is the exception. If this code makes an exception, it will throw the exception object. We can ask the exception object why you are here, what was wrong, what went wrong. He is the name of the exception object. Right, let me show you this code now. Let me take this, ya shabab, here. Now, see now. Are we going to get the same exception or a different exception now? Ah, run. Okay. Oh, division by zero. What, what, when, what is, ah, okay, but your program at least what? Continued, right? I now tell me, what is the exception now? The exception now will be a third exception. You remember this, sah wa la You know this, right? Okay. And I need to say here, scanner. Dot <laughs> I'll enter my 20. No error at all. Not, no need to go to the exception. Now, if I run it with uh, my name instead of my age, oh, you get an error message. The error message here is the exception. There are, ya shabab, exception is, is a more, more yani, you need to know more about exception. However, what if we wrote a correct statement? in try, no exception, and I hashrahta Abdul Wahab three times I said that, ah, let me run it, I entered my age 20, huh, no error, nothing, it will not even go to the catch block, does that make sense, it will be ignored or neglected, because there was no exception, it did not throw an uh, exception, yes, uh, go ahead, uh, what, uh, the try here, it means if the user 
Yeah, try this code. Maybe this code is going to generate an exception. Okay, like try yeah. it means with the experience. Who's talking to me? Uh, yeah. Ziad. With yeah. experience, yes, yeah, yeah. You will know more about which exceptions happen here. With, yeah, and if you read a file, maybe the file does not exist. Right? Sah. Sah. And this is an exception, right? Then when you read a file, you remember that it's a file not found error exception. You understand this? So there will be so many exceptions. And with experience, you will learn them one by one. You would know when, when this one happens and when that one happens. Does that make sense? What I want you now, yes, Abu Jabal, never trust the user. If you trust the user, they're going to fire you from all the companies you work with. Huh? No one is going to hire you. Tamam. Okay. So I write the possibilities of the errors in the try. Yes. And then the catch. Uh, the code that might generate an error, you write it in the try. Okay. Cool. And there are more details yani, yani later in chapter 10. I'll show you finally, for example. Finally, yani what to do. Maybe you need to do fixes. Maybe yani you're going to tell the user do this or do that. But now today, without finally, I... I want you to understand that sometimes the code might generate an exception. There are different types of exceptions depending on what your code is doing. Uh, how to handle exceptions? You need to use a try-catch block. You put inside the try, you put the code. Inside the catch, you can print an error message or... or. Yes, exception is a class, ya yeah, Khalaf, uh, Abu Jabal. Everything in Java is a class. Huh? Everything in Java is a class. Tamam? Exception is a class, and there are so many other classes, like here, yani. Even here, I made it general exception. I made the except, except, exception general. You can go for specific array index. You get my point? Out. Of found. You can go for something like this. You can go for specific exceptions. If they happen, I keep it up to all of them. So, this all. Go ahead. E dot get message. What is E dot get message? Which is the class E? Exception object has a function or a method called what? Get message. The get message will give you the error type. The exception class has a method called get message. Ayuh. And it tells you the error type. I showed you different error types today, صح? Yes, 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 yes. Nalu. It tells you the error type, which is very useful. صح ولا لا? Yes. Because sometimes you don't know what is the exception. Well, yes. He'll object. Can, يعني, yeah, يعني. Ahmed Abdo, you can make more the more exceptions and make and make different action depending on what is the accept, uh, the type of the exception. You see that? Today, yeah, Sadiqi, I just want you to understand that different types of codes might generate different types of exceptions. There are different exceptions, depending on what you're trying to do. To handle exceptions gracefully without a pro your program breakout or exit, use try-catch block. You can use now general exception like this, E, and ask it about the message. The benefit is that your program is going to continue working. You are open for business. Does that make sense? If you understand this, this is fine. Then we're going to go back to exceptions in chapter 10. But now when you see it, try catch block, no need to drop the course or panic. Now, you know that this code might generate an exception. I can take care of it with the exception here. Try my code here and get an error. And the good thing is that my program is going to continue. Alas, 